Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Welcome to day 24 of this 24 day series of tutorials. Today's coffee is Kin Coffee. Smells nice, tastes nice. I've drank half of it already. Day 24, quite exciting day today. We're doing websites in Canva, how to create websites in Canva. Now, before I get started, this is a beta option. It's going to be rolled out more to people during 2022. Uh, but this is a beta look at Canva websites, how it works at the moment. That might change. I'm sure they're going to be adding more features and change this throughout the year. But let's dive into Canva and have a look at how we can get started with Canva websites. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative and that's how I get to look at some of these and new beta options and also let you know about some of these new beta options slightly ahead of time and sometimes of them being released which is really exciting so if that's something you are into and want to find out more on do consider subscribing down below because i'll be updating and this is day 24 in a 24 day series of videos that i've done so if you've not checked out the other 23 days i'll put a link down below and also i'm creating a website that's going to show you all 24 days of the videos that i've done here we are we're in canva and this is where we get started with all our content creation it's just on the home page and in the search bar here we're going to type in websites when i type in websites you'll see i've got 257 template designs that'll get, help you get started now in order to help you get started some of these pages are like a one page design to help you get started some of them as you scroll down you'll see they are multiple pages so this one's page so of six and you'll also notice some of these are pro options so it says free here but that's free if you're a canva pro subscriber if you want to try canva pro and if you're serious about creating a website on canva you'll probably want to try canva pro because that's going to give you some more options and i'll put a link down below to a 45 day trial for you to try out canva pro okay so let's choose a template and get started and let me show you how we're going to be able to then edit that template publish the template change all the settings and things like that so let's get started i'm going to choose this one here i found it really nice and kind of like gave me a couple of options on kind of like page layouts if i was creating kind of like a portfolio for my website or something like that i thought this was a really good option so i'm going to click on this one and then show you how to edit that so we've chosen this template and you'll see here that it's just kind of what you'll see is you've got like six pages and you'll see the page separation by this line you'll see a, a layout of these pages here and you can add multiples of these pages so say i wanted to add another one of those pages i can do if i want to change the template i can do so if i wanted to change to say this template i come over here and i can click apply all six pages now what that's going to do is that's actually going to replace all of the pages that i've already got there so if you've done some work on some of those templates that's not an option that you're going to want to click because that's going to overwrite your template click undo let's have a look at the interface here what we've got up here is we've got our name okay so i'm just going to give it a name there portfolio website darren and what I can do is I can come in here and I can change and edit this as you would with any other Canva template. You can come in here. I can type in my own name if I can spell it. Okay. I'm a Canva certified creative and I can come in and I can add in elements from my uploads folder. I can add in new photos or anything else like that. So if I wanted to have a different image on here, I can do I can come in and I can just add in my image I can replace that I can delete items and I can move this about on the template here you know kind of make it center into the page there and if I want to move pages around I can do so I can move this page down if I wanted to so that would then become page two I can move that back up I can duplicate pages or I can delete pages or I can add a blank page 
So you've got your navigation down the side here, which is all very useful. And down here you can zoom in. You can also look at the template grid design and you can move your templates around like this. So you just kind of like drag in a page and moving it around. It's really easy to be able to kind of like move pages around, especially when you kind of like get into kind of like the design phase. So let's say, you know, we've gone down, we've updated this, we've added some of our own images on here and these are just grids. So you can come down to elements and you can add in different frames or grids of different things that you want to add on on there so you can add these on and then you just add your photo in here so we're gonna add our photo in here delete that one and I'm gonna put this one up here okay and that's how we can do that we can move all these elements around so if I wanted to put that up there this down here and kind of like have that as more of a showcase of my work there I can move all these things around now there are a couple of things that you can and can't do with templates or with websites one of the ones that i noticed is if i add a line then that doesn't allow me to publish that now as you're going along i suggest as you're designing the page you test on a regular basis as to whether things work and also you can still preview these so if i come up here i can still click preview and we'll see there that there's an incompatible element and that's this line so i can remove this incompatible element okay and then click continue and that's then going to give me a preview of my website. Now I can then scroll down, see a preview of the website, see what it's going to look like. This is on a desktop. I can choose to go full screen if I want to. I can have a look at what this is going to look like on a tablet or on a larger phone. And that, you know, it kind of looks good. It kind of centralizes things. Kind of like the alignment of things can kind of like go out a little bit. I think that's something that they're going to have to tweak as this becomes as this comes out of beta as i say this is in beta mode at the moment so there's things that are going to change and i can then view it also on a mobile phone and i just like that you can you know you can scroll on here and this is actually an interactive kind of like preview as well so one of the ideas of creating a portfolio website is for people to be able to get in touch with you to show a portfolio of your work maybe link out to your social media and email or even your main website or anything else like that. So at the bottom of the website here, I, we've got you know an email address where we can put that in there. We've got our website and our social media. And all you need to do when you want to add a link is you come over, you highlight the element and you can come over to this link option here. And in here, this is where you would then paste in the actual website, hit enter. And then now this becomes a clickable link. So if I come over to preview, I'm going to scroll all the way down. You'll see here, even in preview, that the link actually shows up and that will then link out to the website. So I really like that. You can link out to your social media and everything like that. Another really good thing that I like about this is that if you've set up your brand kit, you can come over to styles and I can now just click on this and I can click apply to all pages. So that's now going to apply my style to every page and i can just click shuffle on this until i find something that i like and i can just click apply and that applies to all of the pages a really quick easy solution another couple of things that you can do and i'm going to create a blank page to show you this is you can come in and you can add in links to google maps just by coming down to the more options and discovering the more content you can also add in links to websites so you can you know click in there and click in a link to a YouTube website that you might want to link to you can search for that so if I want to search for Darren Meredith I can do so I could click in and link to any of my websites and that's going to then link out to YouTube. Now this is a really good thing because this is what I've done. I've actually created a website for all 24 days and I'm going to put a link down in the description below to all 24 days. So do check that out and I'm going to show you the website in a moment. We've added all the elements that we've wanted to. We've added in all the text, the updated all our links. We've previewed it. We're happy with the layout. We're happy with how it works. Next, we're going to want to publish the website in Canva. Now, this is where there are a couple of different options. Okay, so I'm going to click on publish as a website. And we're going to use this demo site to start off with. Now, 
when you first click publish it's going to lock your design and then once it's locked your design you can either choose to choose a free domain or you can purchase a domain directly through canva now yes you can do this and there are a couple of limitations as to why i personally don't think you should do that at this stage um and that's partly because i'm not sure how it will work when it comes to wanting to create emails on that domain or email addresses for that domain and that's that's kind of quite key if you're having an actual domain name you're going to want to have emails to that domain name my recommendation on this is to go to somewhere like squarespace and register your domain set up your email address through there and then kind of have that there and then maybe use a different kind of like free domain kind of like pointing towards that but you can as i say come over to purchase domain i'm going to show it to you anyway we're going to type in here coffee lover okay and if it doesn't find the actual domain that you want it's going to suggest all sorts of other different kind of ideas that you can have for your domain name so you could have cafelover.org coffee cafe lover services really random coffee lover.net you know you've got all sorts of different options and you can just click on claim but we're not going to do that here what we're going to do is we're going to click on free domain and again there are a couple of options here and i believe one is a for free users and the other one will be for pro users so what you can do is if you're a free user you get given this randomly assigned domain name which for me is cod strawberry beaver hyphen kkw.canva.site really rolls off the tongue there <laughs> i don't know if they're going to be changing that in the future as i say this is a beta look at canva sites okay the other option is you can claim your own subdomain so i've got better content creators dot my dot canva dot site and that's where my website sits so i'm going to show you how i can update that in the future if i wanted to publish this as a new page i can't so if i want to publish now to here i click on continue and it's gonna click send it to and give it a new url because i've already got a website assigned to the main domain that it's given me this is now adding this as if it's kind of like a page so maybe that's a way that you can add multiple pages to your website is that you'll have your main subdomain and then you'll have so like this one is better content creators dot my dot canva dot site forward slash portfolio website darren and it's taken the name from up here now i can edit that so if I wanted that to be something different, I can just have that as portfolio. Okay, so I can have that just as a forward slash portfolio, a bit like a separate web page, if you like, on a website. Again, ideal for portfolios, I'd say if you're looking at creating a website where you're going to be selling your services or you want to add more kind of like in depth kind of side of things personally i would look at a service like squarespace i personally use squarespace myself and i'll put a link down below for you to try squarespace we've chosen our url we've now got our portfolio site and this is where you can add in a description so when your website shows up on google it's going to have like a snippet a bit of information and this you want to add kind of like keywords that kind of like describe your website and make people want to click on it because this is what's going to show up on google because sites now that you create in canva will show up on google don't quite know how that works whether there's some kind of indexing that happens in the background and say it's all still very new very beta so do kind of like click subscribe down below because i will be publishing updates throughout the year as kind of new bits get updated as well on this and then if you want to you can password protect the website or you can hide it from all search engines as well and then once you're happy with that you click publish now i'm not going to do that on this because this is just a test site what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you my website we're going to go to do a little update and then i'll take you through the publish process where do you find your websites once you've published them okay 
And what you do is you come to your settings page and then down on the left hand side at the bottom you'll find a section called domains once you click on that that's going to then take you to your domains managed by canva and you'll see you've got this random one that you get um, assigned and then i've got this one and also it says never expires so that's good okay so if i wanted to manage that i could do and under there it would then allow me to click edit i've not actually assigned a domain to that one i have assigned a domain to this one so on here what i can do is i can actually now come over and i can actually edit either of these so you'll see this one it's got canva it's got better content creators dot my dot canva dot site and i can come over and i can click on either unlink if I wanted to kind of like create a totally different site on that, I can click on link and then publish it to that subdomain. I can click on edit design. That's going to then open it up into a page and allow me to then edit or I can view the website. So let's first of all view the website. Okay, so this is kind of like a portfolio that I've created and all these kind of like link out to my socials. You can view my Canva portfolio that link doesn't work that one if you click on that you've got a 45 day trial of canva and you've got all my different templates and what i'm going to do is add links to my canva portfolio if you're not following me on canva i'll put a link down below or you can come here now as i mentioned at the beginning of this this is day 24 of 24 day series of videos that i've been doing and what i've done is i've actually created a website okay for all 24 days of this so if you come over here and i'm going to put a link down below to this portfolio site okay what you can come down to is you can come and choose days one to six days seven to twelve 13 to 18 and 19 to 24 including this video right at the end which ties it all up so what happens if i want to come in and i want to edit my site so i'm going to come in i'm going to edit my design okay that's going to then unlock that domain and i'm going to then be able to so i'm going to come over here i'm going to click on edit design it's going to unlock the design and i'm going to be able to create some content so let's say i wanted to add a link on here i could add the link on there and then once i've done the designs or the changes that i want to i'm then going to come back and click on publish as a website i'm going to publish it to here because that's where i want to publish it to okay i can update here i can edit the url if i want to i can add it as a forward slash page but i don't want to at the moment so i'm going to click cancel on that one and then i can update the description i could make this pub password protected hide from search engines if i want to but what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on publish okay that's going to just prepare the design in the background and get it ready for publishing okay now once it's back and once it's done it's going to then give me this option to view my website and that's just going to then be able to i'm going to be able to open that up view the website check the links work click everything check make sure it works check the layout check the layout on your browser check the layout on a tablet if you can check the layout on your mobile phone and enjoy that's websites in canva really exciting kind of new feature i'm excited to see where they do take this it's very good i think for portfolio sites there are some options that i would still like to see added to this which include things like being able to add an email sign up be able to create an email address from your domain and kind of add a little bit more kind of like dynamic kind of feeling what i have noticed is when i preview the website if i preview this on a mobile phone you'll see i can scroll down and then what happens is there's no way of me aligning all these icons to the side or to the left at the moment to make it kind of like line up correctly it center aligns those items those are a couple of little things that i would like to see changed if you want to create just a basic portfolio website give it a go let me know how you get on if you don't see these options just yet bear with it 
it's something new in Canva. It's been rolled out. No, I can't tell you when it's going to be rolled out to everybody. And that's all I can tell you at the moment because I don't have any other information. As soon as I have other information and can tell you other information, I will be releasing more videos. So do click like, click subscribe down below. Drop me any comments with any questions. What would you like to see? All of those good things. And until next time, thank you very much. Bye for now. Enjoy your coffee. And let me know if you watched all 24 videos right to the end, including this bit. Goodbye. <laughs>